So next I want to make the lid for my box. So let's take a rectangle. I'm going to go from here to there. And I'm going to use the push-pull tool to make it, and as I'm pushing and pulling, I'm going to type 1 8th. So it's now 1 8th thick. Now I'm going to make a little line here. Zoom in a bit. And a little line here. And I'm going to push-pull that out by 1 8th. Now I'm going to use my circle tool. I'm going to find the midpoint. It'll just snap to it. And I'm going to make a nice little circle. As I'm making the circle, I'm going to type in 100 seg S for 100 segment so that the circle is nice and smooth. Now, I find that a little bit too big as a circle. So I'm going to use the arc tool instead. I'm going to go from here to here. And I want it to go into the green direction. And it's not allowing me to. So I'm going to go in the other green direction. And I'm going to make it type 100 S again to make 100 segments so that it's nice and smooth. And as I'm moving, I'm going to find a spot I like. So about, uh, about there. It says 5 sixteenths of an inch at the bottom right. And I'm going to say minus 5 sixteenths so it goes in the other direction. I'm going to take my push-pull and push-pull it down like that. So I now have a little lip that that's easy to grab. I'm going to take my eraser tool and erase that line. Now, on the back edge, what do I want? So, first of all, I'm going to have to edit this back uh, wall. Now, if I edit this wall, if I double click on it and make some changes, you'll see it's also going to affect the front wall over here. So I'm going to hit undo. And I don't want that. I want only the back to change. I'm going to right click on that component and I'm going to say make it a unique component. And now I have a unique component at the back. So I'm going to double click on it. I want to get rid of this top. I'm going to get rid of these two lines. I'm actually going to make the back come down about uh, 1 16th of an inch. Now let the, the top of the lid actually swing in and out. So now, if I double click on my lid, I can actually make it come out to about there. And when I rotate it, it should have enough clearance. If not, uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to look there. Let's make this come down another sixteenth. So that when I open my lid, it will actually have clearance to pass by there. So what's my pivot point uh, for this lid? So. Uh, it's going to be on the side here, so let's make a line from here to here and pull out a little pivot. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to have to uh, change the sides in order to accommodate this little pivot point. So all right, so let's make a component out of the lid. and now we're going to alter our sides to handle this little pivot there.